Hello everyone, I'm Udhi here from Retarget Common Group channel and today we are going to learn another array based Java program. So from last two videos we are working on a Java program in which we have an array which you can see on the screen like we have an array here with the elements like 9, 5, 14, 3, 1, 15 and 16 and we are given one target number like 20. So we need to find the pairs from these elements of the array whose sum will be equal to the given target number. If you see here, the sum of 5 and 15 will be 20. So this is one pair. Another pair might be 14 and 6. Right? The sum of these two will be 20. So we need to find such pairs in a given array whose sum equal, equal will be to given whose sum equal to a given number. Okay, so we have already seen two approaches to solve the problem and one was the brute force method and another was by sorting the array. So sometimes in interview they might ask you not to sort array then you cannot use the second approach which we have discussed in the last video. So and if you use the brute force so that the time complexity will be big O of n square so that is not again recommended approach. And also if you have more than two years of experience then in interview they will expect you to solve it in better way or in more optimal way. So what other approach we have? Let's think of some different logic here. If you consider the first number of the array which is 9. So how much we should or how can we find the pair of this element? So in 9 we need to add 11 to make the sum as 20 okay so in this array we should have 11 then only we can have the pair same thing goes for 5 if the element one uh, one number or one number in the page 5 then second element must be 15 right and then 15 we have in this array okay so here we are going to have a logic in which we'll pick the number and we'll see the second pair because we know that what should be the second pair here okay if that number is present in the array then print it like that that logic for 9 what should be the second number 11 for 5 it should be 15 for 14 it should be 6 for 3 it should be 17 for 1 it should be 19 for 15 it should be 5 and for 6 it should be 14 so we need to check the existence of the second number in the pair in my array now, how can we check if any array contains a element or not? So we have like uh, you can use the arrays class and convert to list and then use the contains method or you have some different approach where you need to go and iterate it every time. So that is not recommended. So what we are going to do, we are going to use collections here. So we are going to use has set. Why has set? Because we know that set will not allow duplicate elements, right? So if we have any repetitive elements, so it will not be added to the list. So let's see what will the approach. What we what we are going to do? We'll iterate this array one by from the zeroth index till the last of the element, and if we'll find what will be the my second element. Second element can be found by target number minus the element. So what will the second second element in the pair? That will be 11. If that 11 is part of uh, my set, then you can print because that will be the pair. If not, we can continue. So you have multiple approaches here. You can just convert, you can create one hash set uh, by iterating the array and uh, you can add the element or you can convert to the list and then you can add, uh, you can uh, convert to set. So there are multiple ways of doing that one. So let's go and write the logic for this. What I'm, what I'm going to do, let me create an, another class and I will simply copy and paste it. I will name it as using has set. Okay, let me open the class. And here we are. So it will be as it is. 
okay and i need to create one hash set object so it will be integer and it will be like uh, has or i may be container new has set okay you can directly add all the elements from the array to has set that is another approach or you can start implementing the logic and create the has set as well how so first thing you need to iterate so like int i equal to 0 i less than input array dot length then i plus plus okay so already in uh, last two programs i have used the traditional for loop let's let's use the for each this time or advanced for loop in that what i need to do instead of adding this much line just need to use integer okay then element colon input array so this is also the same thing whatever we have written so from this input array it will give the element one by one it will be type of integer okay now what i'll do i will find the second pair int expected second element okay so how can we find that expected second element it should be target number minus what the current element if you pick the 9 then what's with the second element 20 minus 9 that is 11 if if my container which is empty as of now contains what expected second element then sys out sys out le separate by comma and we know that second element will be expected sorry sec we have already know what is the second element okay if not else i will simply add to the my container okay because we don't know if it uh, if you may find the expected second element in later iteration okay so container add this element okay so instead of going and adding all the elements in advance to the container i am directly checking if we have okay first check if you have because uh, at the beginning it is empty that's fine but not then simply add it okay so that's it let me run the program and see what is the output okay we see 15 5 6 and 14 okay and if you let me print the has set okay so container run as java application so we can see 1 3 5 9 14 okay so once we found the elements we have not added because we know that there's we need to find only unique pairs right because 5 15 and 15 5 both are same technically so that's why we are not adding that element if you are not finding then we are adding to my hash set okay just we are keeping just we are adding all the elements to the container except when we are matching the element just remove that part so let me go and show the logic here um, not logic but the execution uh, pattern here so first time my array will be empty right the sorry not array correction will be empty so first uh, for 9 okay so i will use the 9 the the second element second expected element should be 11 okay here we see that 11 is not present in my uh, container right has said because it's empty so what uh, what i'm going to do i will go and add the 9 to it okay so i've added here so let me add something like added 
what is the second element 5 for 5 the second expected element should be 20 minus 5 20 minus 5 should be 15 okay 15 is not part of this container right so again we will add so 9 and 15 then what the element we have we have 14 right so what should be second expected element 20 minus 14 equal to 6 do we have 6 in my container no so what i'll do again i will add okay comma 6 then what is the next element we have 3 20 minus 3 will be 17 do we have the 17 no right then again i need to add so i made the mistake here i need to add 5 actual event not the difference 14 and 3 let me go and use the 1 1 20 minus 1 equal to 19 do i have 19 in my container no so let me add let me add 1 actual element not the difference then we have 15 20 minus 15 should be 5 do i have 5 in my container yes i have okay then don't do not add why to add because just we to print okay because if you add then again there is no meaning of it right because it may give the duplicate element that which we don't want we want only unique pairs the last element we have six and uh, for 6 it should be 20 minus 6 which will be 14 do we have the 14 in my container yes we have then again do not add and print okay that's why so how many elements we should have in my container this one 5 elements 9 5 14 3 and 1 do we have 9 5 14 3 and 1 right we have this is the logic so why we are adding into hashes so that we can keep the track we can check the if the array contains that element or not because it's really difficult to go and check the existence of any element in the array using the logics right so that's why i'm using the hashes so that i can check the content easily if any element is part of my array or not okay so we use three approaches to solve this problem and it is always better to explain more in the interview so that so that it will give a good impression as well okay so if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone